44 and some fantastic films. In fact, 149 to be exact, mm -hmm. will be making their debut this month right here in Indianapolis. The Harlan Film Festival is a great way to check out some hidden gems of the cinematic world right here in our own backyard. Joining us this morning with more on all of the films being showcased is artistic director Tim Irwin. Good morning to you. Good morning. When we boil it down, we got 149 movies, but there are so many different ones of different lengths. It's really just a great festival to enjoy so many homegrown hits, if you will. Yeah, we have you know about 149 uh, independent films from all over the world. We had 1,700 that were submitted to us this year, so it took us wow. months and months to narrow that field down to the ones that we're presenting in Indianapolis over the next 10 days, uh, and we're really excited about it. We got started last night with our opening night event, had a sold-out house at the IMA. Mm -hmm. um, really special time. And if you want to come out tonight, as a matter of fact, you can watch the premiere of Victor. What's the story with that movie? Yeah, Victor's based on the real-life story of a Puerto Rican immigrant in, uh, in, in New York in the 60s who had some addiction issues and, and kind of it's, it's his life story. And the real-life inspiration behind the film is actually going to be at the screening here tonight as well as the actor who plays him in the film, the film's director, the lead actress, I think the next lead actress. And a whole bunch of people are coming out since it's their world premiere. Nobody's seen this movie outside of you know the cast and crew at this point. It's so gratifying for everyone involved to actually sit there, sit in the seat, and watch their, their labor of love that's been going on for several months, if not years. Yeah, it usually takes them, you know, one to seven years to make their project, and to finally be able to show it to audiences and get that feedback and, and sit in the crowd with them is a really special moment, and it's special for audiences, too. It's not often that you get to see a film for the first time. Uh, you know, by the time it's in theaters, a lot of other people have seen it, so this is really your right. chance to make your own up, your own opinion up about any uh, of the premieres. We also have another movie tonight that's coming out and actually will be debuted tomorrow called Oddball. What's the story with that movie? Yeah, Oddball is a fantastic family film, Australian <laughs> film about uh, a curmudgeonly grandpa, a cute little girl, <laughs> a cute dog, and a bunch of penguins that need to be saved. But it's based on a true Quite story. Quite a smorgasbord there. It is indeed. It's a fantastic family film. Uh, 2.30, I think, is that premiere. Uh, it'll be the U.S. premiere of that film. And we also have another movie, Many Beautiful Things. That one we're going to talk to uh, the person behind that one coming up in our next hour of Sunrise. But there's a lot of excitement about that movie as well. Yeah, there is. That's it. I think 5.30 tonight. Um, they have a whole bunch of their cast and crew out as well, uh, which is really exciting. Fascinating story. If you go to heartlandfilmfestival.org, you can find out more information about it. And then, like you said, we'll talk to the director here. How do you shuffle from, you know, the many hundreds of entries you receive down to the final 149? It's a lot of watching, a lot of analyzing, a lot of thinking what will fit Heartland's mission and what will mm -hmm. uh, appeal to our audience. So it's really um, a lot of different factors go into which films make the final cut and which ones end up not, you know, getting into the festival. Okay. Lastly, if you want to come out and watch some of these movies, what do you need to know? Uh, best way to buy tickets is online. If you go to heartlandfilmfestival.org, you actually save a couple dollars over the box office. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we have films showing at AMC Castleton Square, AMC Traders Point, and then we'll start at the Wheeler Arts community on Monday. All right, a lot going on over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Tim Irwin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We thank have much you. more information on all those movies ahead here on WTHR.com. Thank you.